Uh, yeah. Okay, we're recording. Um, also notice that's one of the things that we're trying to get into the habit of, especially any time that we're talking with external people, of just naming whenever we start recording and at the end of the call, making sure that we know what their permissions are of like, is this something that's okay for us to uh -huh. just to, to archive or can we share it with our team or is this something that we can put up? And so we'll, we'll kind of keep on moving forwards in terms of our, uh, our kind of uh, privacy concerns. Now. Data, data transparency, yeah. Exactly. Um, all right. Well, it's, it's been it's been a, a, a great couple of days in terms of some of the external outreach stuff. Uh, you know, we had our um, initial conversations with the folks over at CodeVid today, CodeVid19. Um, we already have a bridge channel set up with them and are looking at how we can collaborate with them on a few things. Um, we just had a great call with the folks over at, um, oh, what were they calling themselves? It's Dr. COVID is the project, but they had, they had another fun co co COVID name. Um, who are out of the MIT uh, hackathon. That's one of the groups that Dogali got us uh, in touch with. And they're doing some really neat stuff around vaccines and therapeutics as well. So uh, Mimi from that team and Dan from our VT team uh, sort of hit it off and are looking at different ways that they can collaborate. Um, we have our new sponsor, uh, partner sponsor board. So under our team structure, you'll notice that that's there. It has a different structure than all of our other boards because it's set up in a lead generation kind of a format. Um, so you'll see we have a lot of different leads that are there. Uh, here, I'll quickly just share screen. See that all right? So for, for any of the leads that are there, for this one, we're just mainly labeling them in terms of are they partner, sponsor, or other. Um, if it has uh, somebody who is tagged to it, it's probably something that somebody is, is, is working on, but other people can, can kind of check in on that and see if there's something they can do to move things forward. Um, for any of the ones, especially anything that's moved beyond leads and is into kind of contacted sponsorship or established relationship or discussed or established relationship, um, just that we make sure, I may have said this on the morning call too, I'm a little tired. Um, but then we make sure that we contact whoever that point of contact is before we try to do any do anything with them, just so that we minimize the level of chaos that the, the different folks have to have to sort out. Um, moving forward, we also need to make sure that we check in with each person. So we we had um, Google get in touch with us today uh, to say, or no, I guess it was AWS who got in touch to say, like actually you can't list us as a as a sponsor yet. That has a specific designated meaning that we haven't finished kind of filling up the paperwork on that. So we aren't a sponsor as of yet. We've just given some credits. So we quickly took them off of the site. Um, we'll just kind of remember to be um, aware of how we communicate about people's roles um, uh, in terms of partners and sponsors. Uh, that's about that. Um, yeah, where, where are things at for folks? Is there anything, any major kind of progress or elements we need to discuss? or blockers that are there for either of you? FYI, I don't know if this is of interest, but in the funding tracker, I think that there is a tab devoted to maybe you like sponsor listing. I'll put, the, put the URL here in case that's of any interest. Obviously we should track them however it works the best. So um, let's see. I don't know why it's not letting me open it. I'm trying to open it too. But I, my, I guess my only update oh, yeah. from the other day is that I have tried to contact uh, Serge, Sergey, but I haven't uh, succeeded yet okay. um, to help find pharmacy people. And Mark, Marco is trying to uh, find out how he can get his hands on this list of uh, paper authors, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, is it a Twitter list? There was a Twitter list that was plugged into the webinar guide. I apologize, I haven't looked at it yet, but I, I, does anyone know if that's the, the list? I don't know. Okay. You're muted, Tyler. Is it, is it John's Twitter list? It's like a big list of medical people that he's got a big Twitter list for. John. Maybe. I, I, this, this would then be a different thing from what I'm. I, oh. And welcome you, Kenny. Oh, somebody has been updating okay. this document. Okay. So. Somebody's been updating the document with LinkedIn groups as a as a resource for finding people. 
Um, and there, there, I see there is a, a Twitter list. And I'm clicking on that to see what it is. Because I don't think I don't think either of those things are technically paper, authors from the papers necessarily, but maybe this is what we would prefer to do. I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, this is just ID epidemiology. Okay. okay. All right. I'm not a Twitter user, so I'm still figuring out what what's. Uh, a list is in this context. Okay. Well, Marco wants to know who I think how to get that ball rolling. So okay. um, I could point it back to the webinar guide, I guess. Yeah, let's let's do that, and then we'll see if he needs to sort of some further help from there. Um, Evgeny, I just wanted to share that um, in my sharing out the podcast, um, we've had a whole bunch of people who have been really excited by it and are um, are using it as a way to introduce other people to what it is that we're doing. So it's it's already even just with that first episode becoming a really powerful tool for us to use. We had the uh, we had a little feedback from the the song PR people uh, in that they felt that the the very end part of it where it's just kind of a little bit of Archer and I talking um, they weren't sure like whether that was an editing error or what it was and so I explained it to them like like no that's like that's meant to be like the live content of, of those little bits and my assumption is that we would do like a little snippet of that kind of conversation at the end of each one yeah. So I, I think that I think that any confusion that's there around that will get cleared up as soon as someone's listens to a couple of the different episodes. So, so that's good. I, and, and yeah, I, I can't can't express how much I think I think that's awesome and that it's great that that's moving forward. Uh, is there anything that you kind of need from us in terms of, of moving the next podcast forward? Yeah, so I guess I was busy the last couple of days, so I didn't spend uh, enough time to catch up with everything that's going on. I definitely uh, tomorrow I will uh, start spend more time on it and uh, I uh, I prepared a checklist for each for each episode so what we need to like uh, regards regard to preparation uh, to distribution um, and we we will increase quality I I know we, we like in purpose did this not so as, as well as we even could because the first episode and we have to had to wait five days approved from Apple and that was like eighty percent of market so and even even now uh, we have most of our listeners uh, they listen to from um, Apple devices. I will share statistics uh, I will share statistics about uh, from our podcast uh, after seven days after episode post and thirty days after episode post. Um, like, by the way, what's what's the way to share statistics? Do we have some, um, I don't know, dash, dashboards with statistics about website or? Yeah, uh, so we can share those with you and make sure that you can also see the, those web analytics, if that's helpful for you, uh, so that we have a sense of what's going on. I also, I do want to start in the Google Analytics. We haven't done it yet, but tagging any of the major, uh, you know, any of the media that's coming out around us or any of the podcast or things we're distributing, so we can see what kind of impact that's having on our Cool. So, uh, send me, send me uh, where I should put statistics. Um, yeah, and um, next episode, I will start gathering ideas uh, what to post there and uh, tomorrow and share with you guys. I, I wanted to discuss since we're here. Uh, remember, we had this idea to have new hosts for each episode. But mm -hmm. I listened to this first episode and this guy, Chris, he sounds amazing. He's great. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe we should stick with him. Since he's he good, speak. yeah. Yeah, if, 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 if he's interested in, in having that be a solid piece of what he's doing, then I think that would be great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as we discussed, uh, first, uh, next episode will be uh, like half of the time is uh, focused on one team. Uh, how it's organized, what they do, uh, interesting stories from the team maybe, uh, and uh, how the time is just general date for the last week or so. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, what uh, team should we start? What what is what is the I don't know main team maybe? What more like okay, uh, not main team. More uh, we we shouldn't like, uh, arrange them by impact they do, but how if we uh, let people know about the organization, what right. makes sense to, to start with? I mean, why don't we each weigh in? My leaning would probably be to have, oh, that's funny. I just realized, wait, yeah. 
Dan's, like, oh, Dan. Dan's in but the room. I, I, I would probably have Dan as an MVT, as one of the starting ones, because it's one of the ones that is, I think, both it's easiest for the public to understand yeah. what its relevance is in some ways. Um, but also, Dan, I think, I think you're, you're clearly well-spoken um, and, and I think would be engaging in, in a podcast around that. Yeah, I definitely, that, I was literally going to say, I think Dan would be, I think Dan would be a good first start. Um, and not to simplify it, but American, clear, clear, clear and easy to understand. I understand Maya just fine. Um, and I understand Manuel just fine, but not everyone's going to be able to understand them as clearly as others. So, you know, English, I don't want to just make it sound like it's only English native speakers, but it will make help helping you communicate. And so it's a balancing act because I definitely want to have everyone and yeah. all the different accents existing because we are a very international group. But yeah, I think so. Uh, when, it, when it's about explaining what we're doing, it needs to be as, as clear as possible. For my, my, my overall leaning in terms of if, for the parts where we're just kind of going through the teams, um, if we're starting with VT, and possibly then going to risk, and I think going also from like going from Dan to Maya, I think would be an interesting contrast. Um, and then from there, probably going into uh, what did I say? I said risk. Then going to Christine. Then going into ties with Christine. Yeah. Ties, and, Christine, then having, and, then and then having sort of Geo um, after that, because then we can explain the ways in which Geo is sort of supporting those other teams. Um, and then I think it would be fun to have someone like Brandon on there. Uh, where he can yeah. talk about what it's like, and maybe even have a mixture of Brendan and Anton, where they can talk about like kind of the, the in the trenches on the data side of things, what 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 that's like. Okay, cool, thank you. And I like I like this I you know having those little pieces of the meta conversation that's happening I think are great as well. And so I know we've talked about trying to have you know maybe it's once a week or something like that having a call that's it's not quite like our victory call that we did, but it is a chance for us to just sort of be a little bit more free form, have it be outside of our much more, and we're gonna kind of keep on trying to be disciplined in those other calls that are happening, um, but have a place that's way more free form for people to explore. Um, also, we can look at any of the other external calls that we're having that might be interesting to grab snippets from. Uh, we can, so like featuring the, the, the folks that we were just talking to today, you know, they're working on a really interesting project that's related um, it could be interesting to see, do we want to do a brief thing with like, you know, Dan, you and, and Nimi say, talking about the, the connections that we're noticing between the work that we're doing. And also that gets, that sort of seeds it out there that we're, we're actively looking for and amenable to, to partnerships. I'll shut up now because I've been talking a lot. Sorry, I, I knew the first part. Did you talk about a uh, podcast or a general meeting? So we, sh we should oh. include... Those are for podcasts that I'm thinking of. Ah, yeah, I th yeah, I heard I heard a general meeting today uh, that you mentioned this group of uh, hackers uh, who uh, attack this problem. Uh, but uh, from my experience, we should talk in podcast, especially especially in podcast uh, and any ex external communication. Something that happens already uh, happened and already not the ideas for future because okay. uh, you know. And, it doesn't work this way. So if they, uh, if they, uh, if we collaborate somehow, it will be, it will be good news that there, there is another, another group of people. They also attack this problem from different angle, and uh, we decided to collaborate, collaborate, and now we did this. Or they join us because their like, lifetime uh, ends, ended, and they joined us. It's also, it's, it's also cool. Like it shows that our structure. Uh, organization structure works if mm -hmm. other groups join us and and it's more productive than chaos yeah no that's great um and i think i think so we, if, if we have sort of those first four or so teams chained up that gives us a good bit of content to try to work through uh and then and then we can all figure out some, some different approaches but again that's that's me uh shannon tyler i don't know uh, and of course dan if you want to as well what your thoughts are on it Hi, sorry, I just joined in here in case uh, you needed updates from the Augily call, but it sounds like you want the team leads to do a podcast and you want me to be the first one, maybe? Yeah, yeah it's a great good. idea. I'm on board. We, 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 we glad you, we're glad you agree. <laughs> <laughs> cool, you were cool. basically signed up without your knowledge that you happen to be here for it. <laughs> I love being volunteered, so 
that on my yeah mind. that yeah the idea is to have uh next episodes like each episode is focused on uh one of the team and uh half of episode is about the team and half is about general news of the group and um uh since your group will be the next one the first one i will send you a slide some questions like typical question what what your main uh, what what your group does, uh, what main focus, what changes, what success stories, what uh, some interesting stories maybe you had, uh, some interesting people in your group maybe, uh, some uh, yeah I, I I don't know how this list yeah so you will be sure we will testing on you. <laughs> yeah, just let me know you the know? questions and then um, should I record here and then send you my recording or. Yeah, yeah, you will record. You will record on your phone if it's uh, if it's okay quality. I, I, I will check. You will do some test recording for like one minute. If it's uh, okay quality, then we will, you you're going to My use it. Not... Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, it's, I it's see got, already. It's got a proper kit. It's got a proper <laughs> kit. This one, so I can I can use that for once. <laughs> Nice. What do you use that for? Is that for music? For podcast? Yeah, it's for, for... It's for my eventual aspirations for singing. Excellent. Yeah, well, and I'm, my piano you're, I'm not. You're not. You're not the only musician. Yeah, um, an interested yeah, musician yeah. in the group. Then. Yeah. 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 I mean, at some point, I'll show you myself. But yeah, I have literally a mic on a proper stand and a full, like full studio speakers. <laughs> so mine's a bit OTT for just chatting <laughs> on. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I have a snowball. Way... <laughs> I've got I've got my little microphone is a hundred pounds and my big microphone is oh, that couple of it's a couple of hundred pound microphone in a four hundred pound audio interface on eight hundred pound speakers. Nice. So, nice. Yeah. Um, if Kenny, if you if you want to good. send me send me the questions that you're looking at doing as well, I've been I've been wanting to get and sometime I think I'm just going to take a like a vacation day from the usual stuff I'm doing and I'm going to just try to hit a whole bunch of the different people who are in there and just do like little tiny five to ten minute Zoom interviews with them to get a little bit about like what what got them interested in being here and what are they involved with and such and so both we can throw those out uh, on, on YouTube but that can also be like a little bit of a resource pool for you to draw on if you're ever looking for just kind of little sound bites from people who are you know, involved. It, it might cool, be an interesting cool. way of rather than always concentrating having like 20 minute 30 minute episodes we could have like main episodes and then like mini snippets audio snippets like yeah like say so you could just almost make like just mini episodes because um uh, there's a uh, a podcaster a music a podcaster and a musician i really like a guy called derek strivers and his first season of podcasts were like two minutes he had a little interesting thought and he just recorded it and put it out so we don't have to necessarily it's good to have like you could obviously label them differently like main episodes offshoots, edits, cuts, little snippets, little stories. For, I don't know how you want to define them, but it might make for like regular content in between episode to periods. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, That's what I wanted to tell that uh, when we discussed with that, after we uh, discussed it, uh, first four episodes, we should uh, introduce the teams because if we will do some other stuff, people Still don't know what we do exactly and like what is it about uh, but after first four episodes when we introduce our four core teams we definitely should introduce uh, have episodes from community uh, communication team and some like stories from tyler and daniel i guess they have a lot uh like how all this organized and work and uh it's from my perspective the most interesting part and then after like it's not just dry information yeah and like every second or every third episode it would be nice to have something uh, about people you know like be behind like backstage uh, yeah. information information uh, no, it, it's about uh, people give it personality and personality is what makes an organization interesting and it makes it human rather than just like Oh, they just make things and we don't really understand anything about them and it's just this amorphous bubble and yeah there's a couple of people i've heard from but everything else i don't really understand it's oh, not yeah. that's not really how we work <laughs> one other thing for the for the podcast is evgeny i'm going to put you in touch with um lizzie and natalie from the pr company that's helping us out um because they may have some ideas around messaging and they might have especially around anything where we where we 
float into the areas of politics or around some of the other pieces. They also have some like some good ideas in terms of how we convey things in a way that you know isn't going to alienate potential sponsors and is going to kind of encourage the people we need to be encouraging. With that said, um, I also want to make sure it's it's hard for anyone who's helping from outside the organization to really understand the nature and flavor and character of what it is that we're doing. And so I'd say let's use them for guidance, but definitely like you're the podcast guy and we, we trust your direction and, and kind of your inspiration around what you want to make that. So we'll, 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 we'll just kind of have that as an ongoing dialogue. To, to, to be honest, uh, when I joined it, I, I hope it will be work uh, the opposite way. So uh, you have kind of guidelines for e external communication and we feed podcast using these guidelines uh and craft yeah, podcast we're, based on this. We're, and, we're a little bit more organic than that and we're a little bit more iterative and we're also flying by the seat of his pants occasionally we're, we're but, working it out as we go along but, but definitely we can work podcasts, with that but, but, but we just you know no one has the experience of doing all of the things to be able to explain the only way to do it so no one can really like I say, none of us are experts in the whole, no one's, are, no one's an expert in how to communicate an organization that seems like that works the way we do, that is approaching the problems the way we do, and is trying to communicate for an organization that you can't really speak for everyone because you can only ever really speak for yourself. Um, and we're trying to define what we are collectively because no one's really commander in chief, CEO, or boss person who's set sure. up. It's I, like, I no, noticed no that we were preparing. And, yeah, it's yeah, when we were so... preparing the first episode, the, why it took so much time? Because uh, we uh, talking with you guys and after we formulated all these answers for questions, because it's not like we have them, we put them in, in podcast, how it usually works. Right. We, 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 we ask these questions. More <laughs> democratic and more involved in that side of it. Democracy is messy. It's a yeah. messy, slow, cord, like meandering process and we kind of have a semi-democratic system. Yes, there are starting to be like hubs of information and hubs of communication, but even Daniel and I, who have started to become a bit more of a understanding and more of more different teams and what's going on, I am not an authority on anyone or anything other than the little bits that I've picked up. I, I don't have any, no one's got any authority to say anything other than this is the impression I'm getting and this is, the way this team's working and they're doing a good job and it's all very like I and, can't and, tell you that right or wrong. Yeah, and and and, and with with that said as well though, we do have definitely some some key talking points that we do want like just from a strat strategy and tactics point of view. Um, some key talking points that we probably would like to hit. So let's it, we can take the time while we have these next four or so basically planned in terms of what they're gonna look like um, to to think a little bit of, and talk a bit more about what are some of those key pieces that we are wanting to hit so that we can be engaging the wider community in a way that, that best, best serves what we're trying to do. Um, yeah. Outside of, uh, of kind of that blog piece, are there any other pieces that people want to, to kind of bring in and either report on or any blockages or things we need to discuss? I have a question. I, I remember like, feels like years ago, but maybe last week, Tyler, Tyler suggested uh, to add flags to uh, each other's names in Slack. And recently I saw it was a post in Slack and people started doing it. Uh, uh, good idea to, but I, I, I just wanted to tell that it, in the message in Slack, it, 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 at least for me, is confusing. Should I write, uh, should I add Slack where I am from or where I live? Or where is my like? What is my main language? Or it's right. confused because when Tyler suggested that it was very clear and, and good that it lets you understand your time zone, uh, and it's cool. So uh, maybe to when, when, when I, we, I guess it will it will take several times to deliver this message. So next time think, you will get. Yeah. I think you, if you wanted it to do it that way, because for example, you and Art are in America, but you're. Ukrainian so and I, I I think if it's a case for me if everyone could at least put their time zone and which whatever, whatever flag you want after that if you want to put your your national flag and your time zone they don't have to be the same because no one's going to sit down and go hang on a minute which one should I trust it's like the time zone is accurate based on where they are but they're wearing their their 
I mean, to be honest, I'd get rid of my British one and put a Yorkshire Rose if I could, because I don't <laughs> identify with Britishness at all. I'm like, I'd rather <laughs> identify with Yorkshire over, over Britain. So it's not, but that'd make no sense to anyone else. But that's fine. It's not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, we- <laughs> not I'm not, I'm not a hyper nationalist. I feel really weird if I have a British flag on mine, but I do it as a way of symbolically making it easier to like locate people. And, and it's just a little bit of, it just helps people's mental models of going like, oh, well, that person, and not everyone's going to know all the flags, which is why a little bit of like, if I put, you know, BST, British Summertime, or GMT, or even if we just put GMT plus one, I think that's the best thing we could do. It is just like UMT, just the time zone. So I'm like eight behind or four in front or where, and that way, if you look at someone's profile or you see a message, but then you could hover over it and go, all right, they're not on because they're Australia time and I'll catch them. I'm likely to catch them at X time or this time. And it gives me, it just stops you having to click into their profile and then click and then look at the time zone and look at their local time and like work out where they are. It's just, I wanted to make it a little easier. It's it's not a have to, it's just something that that Tyler had suggested a while back and then I was trying to sort of reinforce that today. But um, Tyler, um, if you're, up for it. I think um, another thing that could be cool is just recording, I know we've talked about something like this, recording like a little, like here's your top five Slack tips for people. Slack tips and guides, because yeah. I, I keep on finding, you know, people will be asking me like, you know, can you add so-and-so to the Trello board because I don't know what their email address is. Well, if you, if you click on their name, you're gonna find out what their email address is. But I think, I think more than a lot of us, you know a lot of the ins and outs of Slack. And so having you record a little piece that's just going through and sort of showing some of those little pieces would, I, would be- I, I'm, it's part of I'm our not, onboarding material. I, I'm not, I'm not, for, I'm not, that's the thing is though, it's like, I'm very good at sounding like I'm a thought authority on things. I've got a gift of sounding like I know what the fuck I'm on about. And I often don't, I'm just a quick study. And I'm often just curious enough to go like, oh, what it does that do? Where can I find it? And I'm just, I just, right. I'm just curious and spending time well, at it. But yeah, I'm happy. But, but that's all it takes. All the little things I've found. Yeah, all the little things I've found, I'll, happily, I'll work out how to put it in a little <laughs> something together. It's like, you know, you know, five quick tips of how to make your life easier on Slack and yeah. Java. Something like that would be amazing. Um, yeah. any, any other core pieces? It's five o'clock, and again, we're trying to, to make sure we're respecting everybody's time uh, commitments elsewhere. Uh, are there any other key things people want to go over? So um, I don't. Uh, yeah, Anton, go ahead. So I, I joined just too late. Have you guys discussed like the new format for daily call or no? No, we haven't. No, no. You want to talk a little bit about that? Okay. Yeah, so uh, since it's just like Dan over here, I saw uh, from Task VT. So we're, like yesterday we were discussing like the idea of, since we start adding different teams and for example, today uh, essentially search engine team becomes like out of just lab environment. It's dedicated team. Lukas is like the, the team lead, even though he called himself coordinator. He's a full fledged team. So we start getting this process of officially kind of growing from four teams that we have like you had yesterday, now we're officially five teams. So oh no, we're officially to... seven teams. <laughs> no, 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 but I mean like regarding like this report, like what's done, uh-huh. what the blockers are. Yeah. So I'm like technical team, let's call it that way. So out like uh, the vertical ones, right? So I, I expect this process will to continue. So we'll have more and more. So at some point, 30 minutes won't be simply enough to just kind of present what, what's going on. So the proposition, the proposal was to start doing this again, blockers are for everyone. Just again, quickly, what is needed? So it daily call everybody sees and sync up to everything. But then instead of having like like this chance for every team to report what's going on, we start dedicating like specific only team is focused for that day. So um, there was like yesterday we started discussing, and now we need to kind of start that process. So that's why like I wanted to to see since like Dan is over here as a team lead like how he likes this idea of, of having like... Yeah, we were basically talking about it last night. We were basically talking about it last night yesterday that yeah. um, uh, right now the data call looks a little bit like, you know, ask for, ask for notes, three to six minutes of coordination and communication stuff, things that are mm-hmm. organizational or things that are outgoing and going, and then we go through the teams. And then they're blockers and you know and we and we each team gets that and then any discussions after that and it's normally like 10 the first 10 minutes is other things and we, we were thinking of maybe this basically if, 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 taking, sorry tyler 
just, just because it's 502 and I want to I want to get a chance for Dan to get that answer to whether or not he'd be amenable to, to doing that to, to doing what Anton was suggesting for that I just wanted to do yeah, yeah. Sorry, get there for just one sec yeah so okay the proposal is, is what just quick updates um, from all the so essentially so essentially, instead of having like this short update from teams, because they're all about like, oh, you know, everything is fine. We don't have no blockers. We know what to do, right? They're yeah. kind of useless. But now the idea is to have for each like daily call, for example, like tomorrow is task VT team. You present something essentially what you guys working about. So others who just joined or from people from other teams could kind mm -hmm. of see what you're about. So instead of so for example, right now, for me to know what TaskVT is doing, I need to participate in all of those private calls or go into your like Teams call, right? But not everybody knows where it happens on which YouTube like video will be posted. So I'm I can't, I'm kind of lost, like what you guys do. So this is an opportunity for like each day, different team pro like essentially presents what they are about, what is like the next steps in details, so to get excitement from people and get again. I guess onboarding more active onboarding process. Okay, and then if it's uh, if there are seven teams and it's just like Monday is VT day, or whatever, because there's a nice periodicity of the week. I mean that that sounds nice. Yeah, I agree. And I think that let's say VT has some big blockers one day. I think that maybe there's five minutes at the end where it's like, okay, anybody have any questions or concerns? And then I say, oh, okay, VT needs help. Like, uh, please help me, comms team for for this and that. Okay. So I think that leaving that open and then people can opt into sharing issues that they have, that seems like a good way to do it. So I, I okay. approve of your proposal, yeah. Okay, so would you mind like being like, let's say if tomorrow we could start like taking that format, can you be like ready to present something like this? Essentially, okay, we're task VT, this is what we do, here is our huge chart. There are so many like bits and pieces you can, you know, participate, something like that. Can I have until Friday, possibly? Because I yeah, should have a nice sure. version <laughs> of the chart. Uh, oh, okay, I'm just okay. working on that tomorrow morning. So okay. it should be yeah. one that's you, not you my hand You don't want to show them the one you made on 420? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, the one. It's going to have it's gonna have real squares and nice, uh, I don't know, figures that are not my hand drawing. So I like your, your hand drawn one's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is amazing. Actually, it's just it's hard to it's hard to kind of grasp all of it in one. It's like it's like a Lord of the Rings map or something. I don't know if it's going to be that much easier when it's in Lucidchart, but it's it will be in Lucidchart at least. So. Okay. So, anyways, like I like I propose, like I think that is a great like format. So others would start kind of seeing like, oh wait a second. So that team actually put all of their projects on like one chart. It's amazing idea. So just kind of like that type of stuff. I like. I envision in this type of format of people like showing what what works for them, right? And then other teams could pick it up and so on. Yeah, I'm it, happy it, to it guinea does, pig, it, and I prefer to guinea pig on on Friday. Those okay, it, it, it awesome. allows for that cross pollination of skills and and process as well. Yeah, see that everybody can see other people and how they do things. Anyways, I think that's all done. Thank you for your time, guys. Great. Yeah, thanks everyone. Uh, we'll we'll check in again after, and I'll post this once it's uh, once it's up on YouTube. Okay. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.